Hi guys, it's Couponing Stacey here. I am finally bringing you guys my 2016 savings. I know a lot of you guys have been following this journey since January and I am so thankful if you've been watching this monthly series. Um, so if you don't know, I started in January saving all of my receipts and then in early February I started telling you guys how much I saved each and every month. So I've been doing a monthly video with the exception of what I posted yesterday. I posted November and December together because I did not get a November savings out in December so I just did that as one video. So if you've been following along, you might have an idea of how much I've saved, but I've actually been writing it down in my laptop. I have a spreadsheet. I mean, I have a Mac, so it is technically called numbers, but it's the same thing as a spreadsheet. So I have all of the stores listed out. And then, so I have my savings for the month listed, the savings for the store, and then my savings for the year. So I'm going to go one by one, tell you what I saved at each store for the whole year of 2016, and then I'm gonna tell you how much money I saved in 2016. And I have decided I will be doing a 2017 savings. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna make a 2017 savings goal so that I can try and push myself to be extra frugal in 2017. So without further ado, Let's jump into this. So, as always, I'm gonna start off with Meyer. I'm actually gonna be reading these just how they're listed in my spreadsheet. So, Meyer is the first store I shopped at. It is in my main grocery store. At Meyer for 2016, I saved $1,718.09. So not bad there. I know a lot of people save more money at Meyer. But I do most of my grocery shopping and not as much couponing. I kind of fell off of Meyer When I first moved here, I was really big on Meyer couponing. But as I've gotten more into CVS because of my channel, I've kind of focused less on some other stores. But that is still a really good Meyer savings. Then second on my list is CVS. This is going to be my highest savings out of any store. For obvious reasons, I shop there every single Sunday. I bring you guys a weekly Sunday video and I save so much money at CVS. So for 2016 at CVS, I saved $6,728.26. So that is killer, killer deals there. Then I have Target listed at Target, I saved $457.52. Again, not a super big Target couponer like some people are, but that is still a good savings. Then I shopped at Jewel Osco. At Jewel Osco, I saved $213.74, and that is with mostly doing their weekend freebies, but some other couponing along the way also. Then at Food for Less, I saved $230.47, and almost half of that came from just December. I like killed it in December at Food for Less. Uh, at Walmart, I saved $11.50. Not a big Walmart couponer. I've told you guys that several times. It's just not my store of choice. Then I only shopped at Mariano for one month, and in that month I saved $6.48. And then my last store listed is Rite Aid. Based on you guys' advice, I did decide to count the store savings. So at Rite Aid, I only shopped there in November because I don't have Rite Aid in Chicago, but I saved $179.12. So combining all of those stores, I saved 900, I saved $9,780.90. So I am super proud of that. As you guys know, my monthly budget is $200. And I'm gonna be honest, I think I went a touch over that in December, but you know, with that monthly budget, and even if we factor that I went maybe a little over, uh, my monthly budget is $2,400 a year. So even if we're rounding up, I maybe spent $2,500. So I saved four times the amount of what I actually spent out of pocket for the year. And that out of pocket factors gas and like pet care items. And because I have a rabbit, I don't coupon for pet care items because he eats hay and pellets and there are just not coupons for that. So I think I did like 
incredibly amazing in 2016. However, I plan to do even better in 2017. I hope to save $10,000 or more in 2017. I wasn't that far off, so I think it is a realistic goal. I want you guys to encourage me along the way and, you know, tell me about some deals that you think I need to do that I might not have already done and just like, let's push each other to do this. It is January. You guys can start doing this with me. Save your receipts now. If you do these videos, let me know. I would love to watch them. I know Bath and Beauty Freak has done them some after watching my videos and that is just really fun to watch. I love inspiring you guys and you guys inspire me back and it's all really fun. So I hope you will take this 2017 savings challenge and do some monthly saving videos, even if you just do it for one month. It's really fun seeing what you can save in a month. My monthly savings average were like seven, 800 and that's awesome, especially if you don't spend that much. I think it's important to know what you are spending in a month. And I actually have a few videos coming up planned for you guys all about savings. So I want to tell you guys kind of how I set up my bank's accounts to keep me financially responsible. And then a couple other ways just in my regular life that I am frugal. So look out for those videos because I really want to help everyone who is trying to just be financially responsible, save up for a house or to have kids or retirement or just trying to get out of debt. Like I, I'm not fully out of debt, but my husband and I, we paid off a $14,000 car in less than two years. Like, you know, we are very financially responsible. I still have student loans that we need to pay off, but that is the next thing we're gonna tackle. And we are at the same time trying to save up for a house because once my husband finishes his PhD, we want to get a house whenever we find out what his permanent job will be. So you can do these things. We don't make a ton of money. I mean, we don't make like the least ever, but we are not rich by any means. It is totally possible for you guys to be living well, debt free and, you know, saving up for different things that you need in your life. And I would really love to give you my tips, especially in January to help you guys live the way, lifestyle that you wanna live. So couponing is obviously a great way. I hope you are here because you are a couponer or interested in couponing, but there are definitely some other things you can do in your life to be financially responsible and help you save money along the way. So I definitely plan to have like how I have my bank account set up coming up first. That is the first video I wanna do, but I will be doing other videos too. So look out for those and I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you did do this at all, let me know what you saved in a month. If you did it for the whole year, let me know what you saved in a year or let me know if you plan to do this for 2017. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red link down below. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.